Berlin. Radio Berlin 88.8. Hey Music mit Jürgen Jürgens. A new star is born now in Germany when we start with uh, this interview, I think. Hopefully. Um, in uh, Norway, uh, it uh, has begun. It started uh, with... So many started. Yeah. Uh, it was a casting show, but you did things before because when I saw you with your first appearance, you've been that well prepared. Yeah. Uh, and you knew... Uh, what you are able to do and it was uh, remarkable uh, I have to tell you before I have seen this someone gave me uh, the new song uh, yeah. and said this is a new guy from Norway and I listened to it and said oh it's That could be a new modern Harkett. And when I saw uh, what you did over there, I said, it's a punk. What's, what's, <laughs> that's what he started. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, so in between, something happened. Yeah. And uh, was it something that first uh, was a little bit uh, strange for you to follow it? Because there's really a big difference. When I saw you now here, it's totally different again. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from the start, what you did there and what bit by bit uh, happened in the show, uh, it was a change. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I was, I was, uh, I'm still young, but I was really young when I did the show. Uh, so it was uh, every day I was on that show. I learned something new uh, about the music industry or about myself. Uh, or about my skills and I evolved and uh, I rehearsed a lot. So <clears throat> I feel like really that uh, that show shaped me in a way, you know. It taught me a lot about the industry uh, and how to be an artist, how to perform. Uh, and uh, most of all, it taught me that no one's going to do the job for you. So that was a really good <laughs> lesson. Uh, but yeah, there's there's been a lot of changes uh, over the years. I've... Uh, I've been through a lot of different styles of music, um, pop, rock, uh, progressive metal, uh, everything. Uh, but I feel like everything has led to what I'm doing now, this uh, new uh, R&B pop, solely mm -hmm. vibe going on. So, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, in some way everything has had a purpose. So your face, when I mentioned Morten Harkett, uh, I thought it was not a bad example for you. I'm really <laughs> grateful for that example. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it has nothing to do with the, the music, really. I think uh, there you are uh, much more changeable in your styles you have. Yeah. Even when I saw you uh, doing the loop box scene, yeah. uh, this is a quite new Uh, way to perform. Yeah. Uh, I think Ed Sheeran is the most famous uh, who started uh, yeah, absolutely. it and uh, everybody was uh, quite astonished yeah. uh, what is possible uh, yeah, absolutely. as one man on the band. It's, on a, it's on a stage. super cool. So, uh, I mean, the loop station for me is just uh, a way to show people that I'm just not that, you know, random guy with a guitar that looks good and can sing. You know, I want to show people that I'm a musician and uh, this is what I do and I love doing it. So it's just, you know, in a perfect world, I would brought a band into the studio, you know, and just do my thing. Uh, but uh, it's kind of small, so <laughs> it wouldn't fit. So then I but figured it's a little band. I'll uh, bring my band in the box. Oh, 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 don't you know, don't you know I 
time you say, I like to be on my own. That's the typical radio style when you have yeah. everything around. Yeah. Uh, and uh, even when I'm filming things like this. Right. Uh, in a way, it's a good thing Absolutely. to be on your own because all the mistakes you do, you do on your own. Yeah. If there are a few others, uh, there are so many people who can, who can help make yeah, mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's true. <laughs> Around. Yeah, yeah. You can only blame yourself. Uh -uh. So, and it's cool because it makes you, uh, rehearse more and practice more you know because uh yeah as i said earlier no one's going to do the job for you so then you just have to go home and practice but what you miss is the feedback of the musicians in the back yeah and of course that's why i love i love playing in a band so uh i've played in uh different bands but uh mostly with the same people we just change the names sometimes <laughs> but uh, those guys that I've played in bands with they're also my background musicians now when I go on tour in Norway uh, or maybe when I go on tour here so uh, like they're my best friends and <clears throat> I respect them and I listen to them to their opi opinion all the time and it's important to me and I love that you know getting together in a room just playing music and just you know hearing each other out and just having fun. Tell me, when did it start to make music? Very young? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I've been doing music for as long as I can remember. Um, I think it all started with uh, when I was four. Uh, my mom sent me to a choir in church because uh, she thought maybe I'd like that. And I went there, went to a couple of rehearsal rehearsals, And then I came back and I said, Mom, I don't want to sing in this choir. And she thought, well, okay, maybe singing isn't for you. But she asked me, so, so Atlee, why don't you want to sing in this choir? And I said, you know, Mom, the other kids, they can't sing. <laughs> They're just screaming. So <laughs> I guess it all started there, you know, in a way. Uh, and then I started taking piano lessons when I was six and... I got a guitar for Christmas when I was eight or something and just, you know, starting, started writing songs, really, really bad ones. But I mean, I think I like I knew maybe like six or seven words in English, but still I wrote uh, an English song. Uh, it was really bad. But yeah, so it's always been there for me. Singing in a church choir. In Norway, I think it's not really very different to singing in a church choir in Germany. No, probably not. Because uh, the songs are, uh, yeah, as singing church songs. It's, they're <laughs> they're all German. Europe. They're all German. Uh, and uh, it's really good for a singer to be yeah. in the church choir in the United States because that's gospel. Oh. And... Uh, Then in the end uh, you will end as uh, Whitney Houston or something yeah, like this yeah, uh, absolutely. when you go, but in Germany you will end as uh, a Schlager singer. Yeah, you know, so that's different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is all there is all different cultures, you know, in uh, in different countries. But I mean, the most important thing is that you know you get to figure out your talent in a way uh, while you're social with other people. So that's why a choir is a uh, a really good thing to be in. Uh, okay. And yeah, you, you learn social skills and you also learn to sing. So it's perfect. She almost lost her mind. Now she said she knows you're not the hurt and kind. She loves you. has been uh, the influence for your songs? Uh, over the years, there's been quite a lot, but uh, I would say... Like a time. Yeah, yeah, you got uh, <coughs> next week. <laughs> no, but I think like for, for my new album and the Ready to Love song that's out now, uh, it's definitely artists like uh, Bruno Mars and Justin Timberlake, those kind of... Um, what should I say, American soul, funk, R&B, pop, musicians. But also got a, a lot of influence by... It's not an easy choice. 
No, no, they're great. I mean, but I'm not. I have to say, I'm not. I'm not trying to be them. You know, it's important that you mm. don't try to be mm. anybody else, but who you are. But <clears throat> I just love that kind of music, uh, all the way back to you know James Brown and the way he performed and the kind of you know entertainer he was. Um, so yeah, that American R and B. I'm really influenced by that. Uh, but also, I try to keep a bit of that, you know, Scandinavian simple melody ABBA style in it, uh, and I don't know, it's just a lot of things, and uh, just put everything in a blender, and out comes Atli. So yeah, something like that. You How important are the lyrics? Um, uh, earlier, I didn't care about lyrics at all. Uh, pro- With th- these th- six words of English. Yes, you right. Know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, uh, I'm not, even though I have a, a Bob Dylan T-shirt on, uh, I'm not uh, Bob Dylan. Um, but I mean, lyrics can, it depends on the song. I think lyrics can, you know, uh, make a song a hit or sometimes there's other parts that makes a song a hit song. Uh, But the most important thing is that the lyrics has a story. So, like, you definitely have to decide what you want to write about if it's uh, peace and love or if it's, you know, women. I don't know. Whatever you like. So, I mean... I try to to me the the most important thing is uh is the melody I have to say uh and the lyrics have to in a way make the melody even stronger you know you can ruin a, uh, a melody with lyrics or you can just make it even better the main thing why you cannot be bob dylan is he can't sing <laughs> that's true <laughs> but he could write some really good <laughs> lyrics for sure okay <laughs> so then please tell me a little bit about uh, the single that we now yeah. can play yes and uh, it's uh, our show Hey Music uh, which uh, started in 1967 when I was wow. at school and was the listener of this show that's awesome and I was writing to uh, the guys because I was listening to uh, BFBS and AFN and uh, did a little bit about the music. Yeah. I, knew, I knew a little bit about this music and could give them hints. And yeah. then I made an interview uh, for my uh, school magazine with uh, the guy who was, was the host of the show. And then he asked me if I was interested to be a radio guy. Wow. So it started uh, in 1969. And from that day on, I was a part of the show cool. till today. And uh, so it's a f- quite nice story. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. And uh, now you're in it and it's a voting show and uh, hopefully you will uh, have a few fans uh, yeah, that, that you can be... invite via uh, the internet yeah, to vote for it. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, so, yeah, uh, what should I say about the, the song? Um, well, uh, when I decided to... Uh, Uh, do this new solo album. I decided to go to um, to LA to write some music, and I met this uh, great producer called Christian Davis. Um, totally randomly, just I just ended up in his studio, uh, and then he listened to my voice and a lot of stuff I've done, and he said like, "No, no, you gotta do this kind of style. This is perfect for you." Uh, so, "Ready to Love," the first single is actually the very first song that we wrote together and that uh, we wrote for this album. Uh, and it's, uh, I would say it's, you know, it's a chill out, good vibe, summer, funky R&B track. Well, it was a lot of words, but <laughs> I personally, I think it's a great song. I love, I love the beat. I love the melody. I love the groove. I love just, it just makes me want to dance. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, I'll do you right. 
the girls, I think, uh, would like to know something about your tattoos. Oh, yeah. How they end up behind the shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go all the way. You know, I started, I took my first tattoo when I was 14. So I was way too young. Never do that. Uh, it's just stupid. Uh, but uh, I've just been always been really fascinated about tattoos. So That's I it. think in a couple of years, I ended up with both my arms, my whole chest, my ribs, my entire back. And just a couple of weeks ago, I started on my my leg. So, yeah, it's just uh, addiction. Yeah. Okay. But I don't do drugs, so I think it's better. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the thrill uh, to do this? Uh, to me, it's the the art. I think uh, I just I'm just really fascinated by how you can uh, create such beautiful art, and you only it's not like when you you paint you can do it again or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just you have one try and that's it. And I just I just think it's really beautiful and really cool. And so you can spoil this beautiful body. Oh, you want me to take off my shirt? <laughs> oh, yes. Well, you know, it's uh, it's Wednesday. It's, you know, 10 past one. It's a perfect, perfect time to take off your shirt. So <laughs> I'll do it. So this is how it looks. Chest, arms, you know, mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm not, I'm not going to take off my pants, though. <laughs> Uh, in these moments, I uh, uh, normally say, please don't do it. I have seen so many bad things in my life. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. In, okay. In a way, I probably like the pain. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm doing uh, paintings myself. Uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm doing cartoons mostly. Oh, cool. Uh, doing on, uh, now more on uh, the PC. Yeah, awesome. But uh, when I got time, when I'm on holidays, uh, I do oil things. It's really fun because uh, uh, sometimes on holidays, I start when my friends or my girlfriend or whatever were going to the beach and I was starting and I thought I just was painting for half an hour. Then they came back. Yeah. So, and I said, oh, <laughs> I was in totally a different world. Yeah, I know. In and between. It, it's the same for me with music. I'm like... Uh, I can say to my friends, yeah, I'm just going to go up real quick. I just got to, you know, play through this song a couple of times. And like four hours later, they're like, so where are you? I'm like, oh, I totally forgot. I played through the song, but then I played some other stuff. And I maybe I wrote a song or just, you know, you just disappear into this world of uh, music or painting or whatever you like to do. That's just... Uh, Yeah, it's amazing to me. But out of the world, please come back to Germany. I will, in between. for sure. Live gigs in future? Um, uh, the thing is that my schedule in Norway is pretty packed. I got a lot of stuff going on there. So I'm, I'm planning for uh, a Europe tour. We got time. Uh, when I release the album next year. So, But uh, I don't know. Hopefully, I just want to... I love playing live shows, so I just want to get out there and play. So hopefully very, very soon. I cross finger for everything you do. Thank you. Thank you for having you. Thank you.